Carl Reiner was one of Hollywood's most prolific writer, producer, director, actors for more than 60 years. He's a nine-time Emmy Award winner and died last night at his Beverly Hills home of natural causes. Entertainment reporter George Pinocchio joins us now live with a look at this comedy pioneer. What an incredible life and career, George. Absolutely, Philip. You know, Carl Reiner's career spanned the earliest days of television, plus Broadway, motion pictures, books, even record albums. He has left us at the age of 98. This morning, his son Rob tweeted, Last night, my dad passed away. And as I write this, my heart is hurting. He was my guiding light. And here he comes now. Carl Reiner was an ingenious and versatile performer, both in front of and behind the camera who first made his mark in the 1950s with another legend, Sid Caesar. This, Al, is your story. <laughs> Back then, he often played the straight man. It was here on early television where his lifelong friendship with Mel Brooks developed. Well, everybody deducts their wife as an exemption. Not as an exemption. Well, as a deduction. Not as a deduction. And what? As a depreciation. <laughs> In 1959, Reiner used his experiences as a comedy writer to create a TV pilot called Head of the Family. The network thought he was wrong for the part, and Reiner agreed. The Dick Van Dyke Show. With a new star, the show took off. Reiner produced and acted in the show for six years alongside Dick Van Dyke. Mel, let him slice his own bologna. <laughs> When the show ended its run, Reiner found success as a director, with films including Oh God. I don't do miracles. They're too flashy. He also directed a series of Steve Martin vehicles, including All of Me and The Jerk. Later in life, Reiner returned to acting, appearing as an elderly thief in the Oceans movies. He also made several guest appearances on TV sitcoms. Over the years, Reiner wrote several memoirs and novels. In the 2003 book, My Anecdotal Life, Reiner wrote of his career, inviting people to laugh with you while you are laughing at yourself is a good thing to do. You may be a fool, but you're the fool in charge. Carl Reiner was a prolific tweeter and he wrote a lot about politics, but just three days ago he wrote this. Nothing pleases me more than knowing that I have lived the best life possible by having met and marrying the gifted Estelle Labost, who partnered with me in bringing Rob, Annie, and Lucas Reiner into this needy and evolving world. Now, due to the pandemic and physical distancing, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce will not be placing star or flowers on his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Live from home, George Pinocchio, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Philip, back to you. George, thank you, and thank you for reminding us of everything that he has done. What a loss.